Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades. Then we continue studying together. We have a question here from a, a topic called fluid flow. Whereby we are told that the figure below shows an unviscous fluid that is not compressible moving through a pipe of varied cross-sectional area. Therefore, we can see the fluid is entering a pipe at a speed of 0 0.1 meters per second then exiting the pipe on the narrow end at 2.2 meters per second. Then we are told that if the area of the region, the area of the narrow region is 0 0.05 meters squared, calculate the diameter of the wider region. We, we, we can uh, relate what we call the equation of continuity, which says that area times velocity is uniform or is continuous, it's the same, is uniform, which means at the other end, area 2 times velocity 2 will give us the same thing. Therefore, we can first get the area at the, the wider region, because we know the area is unknown, but the velocity is 0 0.1. This should be equal to area in the other side, which is 0 0.05, and the speed is 2. Point two. Therefore, we can get a one. Can get area one. Zero point one divided by zero point zero five, multiplied by two point two. So the area on the other side will be zero point nine zero nine one. This will be meter squared, of course. Therefore, if this is the area, then we can calculate diameter as requested by the examiner. We know that area for a circular region is given by pi r squared. Therefore, area of 0 0.901 is equal to pi 143 times r squared. Therefore, we can get r squared by dividing the area with 3.142 and this gives us 0 0.2893 then after that we can get the radius by dividing by taking the square root sorry by taking uh, the square root and this would be 0 0.5379 then finally, we want to get diameter D. Diameter is gotten by 2 times radius, which will be 2 multiplied by 0 0.5379. This shall be 1.076 meters. So thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share this link.